Namaste, everyone. I'm Jenny G. And thank you for tuning into my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button in the corner there, that little red button, in order to get new content and videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And please like the video, make some comments, let me know what's going on with you guys, and so on. So for those of you who know, we're going to talk about the cosmic vibes that's going to be going on this week from the 23rd to the 30th of April. Like how many of you feel completely different right now as if like a shift has just happened to you or currently happening? We are in the total eclipse energy still for the next six months. We have Mercury retrograde. And we still have that lingering on of the new moon. So you'll have to watch my video that I just put out on the new moon, Mercury retrograde and the eclipse to know how to work with that energy, because that's going to linger on for six months time. Mercury retrograde, as we all know. Oh, good Lord. Oh, my goodness. And for all three of those energies to be entwined into one. Oh, my goodness sakes. <laughs> The more sensitive you are, the more you're going to feel it. And especially going into this new week here, you have seen and are continuing to see how endings are taking place. Sudden endings. Expect the unexpected. Old chapters are closing. How many of you just experienced a relationship or a job or some situation that has just end it like boof just like that right let it go let it go because this energy what you are struggling with that you know in your heart and your soul that you are supposed to end or end if you don't do it on your own the eclipse energy is going to do that for you and this energy is going to go lingering into october and such like that you guys like six months literally right so really pay attention and whenever we have to end situations it can be very painful very painful you know it's like a death when somebody passes on it's the coming to terms with things first healing through the process reflecting back on the good and the bad times and most importantly what have you learned from it what lessons has your soul showing you has taught you so no one can run from karma as i'm always talking about and you're also gonna see that the karma that you have sent out and done to others it's coming back to you especially this week especially this week it's gonna linger on of course as well for the next six months so if you have treated others with disrespect or not very good, let's say, or done something very deceitful to them and all of these things, it's coming right back to you. Nobody can run from it. And karma comes up to you when you least expect it. So I'm just saying, you should speak from your heart with your truth, with integrity, be yourself, be authentic, because all of that's going to be getting stripped away. A lot of truth is going to be exposed, as I've talked about even more so. And especially, you have seen even more. And you're going to be seeing even more truth exposed continuously with your friends. You have seen, especially with this Mercury retrograde, who your real soul tribes are, who your real connections are in a soul level. How many of you have really, really looked at who is your true friends. Just because it's family doesn't mean anything. That might be your biological family, let's say, or you might be like adopted into a family or fostered or whatever it is. It's irrelevant as to how you allow them to treat you. If you want to be treated and used and abused, it's going to continue. However, with this energy, and it has been shown to you, you very well need to take that step back and do more reflecting as some of you have. You know, you're all unique. You're all a gift from God. You're here to live your life authentically and be yourself, be you. Walk in your truth, you guys. Okay, so this week we're going to see that even more so. 
So the 23rd to the 24th of April, you might find that your shoulders and your arms and your hands and even your throat, your bronchial could be like more sensitive during this time. Because as our planets go all up in the air, as I call it all over the place, it affects different body parts. So the 25th and the 26th, your stomach might be a little bit more sensitive, might be a little bit more off. Your your breast area and your womb area as well might be a little bit more sensitive. So just take it easy on you guys. The 27th to the 29th, it's connected with your blood, blood circulation, your heart, blood circulation, blood pressure and such like that. Try to keep your energies as calm as you can. And watch your animals as well. All this energy really affects them. So on the 30th, as we end the month, you very well could be having some issues with your intestines, your digestive tract, pancreas, all of that energy. And it's your body and your soul also saying, you know, maybe there you need to make some changes with your diet, right? So over the past little while, I've been talking about it, you know, like... Um, for some of you, let's say who are meat eaters, you might all of a sudden become vegan. For those of you who needed to add a little bit more meat into your system, or you're like, you know what, I need to make some changes. Like I can't even have this or that anymore. So your body changes as the cosmic energy makes these changes. And literally, as I was saying that, I just had some cards fly over. So we're going to utilize cards in the end, by the way. So um, I'm a psychic clairvoyant medium, so I don't use cards, but I do use cards at the end of the video and such to see what the spirit world has to say to us. So it's really important that you guys focus on yourself as well. As we get towards the end of April, it's going to be very, very, um, you know, you, you've seen a lot of this being a very fast paced month as it is. And on the 28th of April, you're going to see how you might want to take a lot of action then. You're going to be moving forward with your goals and you might be feeling even more of a shift that day as well on the 28th. And make sure that you don't have to, but certain events that happen on April 28th, it's going to come back. It's going to come back during this eclipse season. So if there's any significant changes that you're making or that has happened or anything, highlight it and mark it down. It's coming back. It's coming back. I'll talk about that in a different video altogether. So the 29th comes into focus. It's a master number day. Master number day. You can utilize that energy to the fullest, to the fullest. And be really mindful with what you're seeing. You might be a little teary-eyed your soul is really going to show you where you're at where you're at what foundations have you built you're going to be doing more reflecting back on letting go you've had some recent people from your past connect with you come back exes friends could be anybody out of the blue hey how's it going you know Certain times we connect to different people from our past. And also there's different people from your past that could very well come back. And you're going to be like, oh my goodness, no, no thanks. I'm no thanks. We're done. But you know what? Thanks, but no thanks, right? It's up to you. It's up to you. Forgiveness is really important regardless what somebody has done to you because that's their karma. Okay. Like I'm saying, what you have done to others is coming back to you full swing. You can't run from it. So all of a sudden, if you're like, geez, why did that happen to me? Or why did that person say that or do that to me? Look back. How Did you treat somebody like that? Did you use and abuse somebody? Did you take somebody for granted? That's coming right back at you. So you can forgive that person, let's say, but you don't have to take them back. Maybe you are the one that needs to say, you know, geez, I'm really sorry. I, I said something or I did something, whatever it is. Now is the time to release that karmic energy. It's really important you do that. So you might have, you might also see this week that you're like, you know, I'm not really happy with the work I'm doing or um, the career path. You know, maybe, maybe I just want to go that direction, start looking into that, right? All of a sudden you might be like, you know what? I want to be a dentist or maybe, you know, I want to go work in an office or maybe I want to change my career and be an artist or do whatever it is, really pay attention. That's your soul bringing things to the surface of who you are. You are that soul. 
once upon a time, many lifetimes ago, you're the same soul. That's why I do a lot of past life Akashic records readings, because on the 28th as well, you're going to have some of those soul reflections, soul reflections. You might even be having some of those memories of your past lives, dreams coming forth. You know, how many of you have had certain dreams where you're like, you know, I actually had a dream that I was back in the 1800s or all of a sudden I was a soldier or all of a sudden I was this or this or that or a male or a female. Past life energy is coming back. And that's to show you more of who you are and to embrace your talents. So you know how all of a sudden you might be like, you know, I want to be an artist. I want to learn how to paint or, or I want to do more digital work or I want to be a ballerina. I want to be a doctor. I want to this and this and this and that. Do what resonates with you. You're going to have other people tell you, you can't do that. You're too old to start that career. You're too old to run that marathon of 20 miles or whatever it is, that's negative energy, that's negative fear energy. And this is really when you need to take that step back, you're going to be setting more boundaries as well. I talk about setting boundaries all the time, constantly. Set some boundaries and really start writing down what you'd like to achieve. This energy is huge for manifesting. March, April, and May is huge months huge months huge months you're going to start to feel that vibrational shift even more so on the 28th as i keep talking about so even the 25th of april is a very high vibrational frequency day and sometimes when we go into that high vibrational frequency we can feel off because we start fighting with our soul when your soul is trying to show you hey you know what we want you to make these changes. We know it's difficult. Ask and call upon your angels and your guides. We are here for you to help you transcend forward in quantum leaps. When you are ready to emerge and take that energy and shift it forward, you've got this. You've got this. We have you. We've got you. Take your power back. This energy is going to work with you. So whatever you're not in alignment with you guys, you're going to be showing this whole energy of the eclipse. It's really going to show you. And with this Mars and Mercury, it's going to give you that motivation to make these changes, to step into more of who you are with your talents and gifts. And that's why the energy of past life is coming back as well, you guys, this week. Because your talents from once upon a time, another lifetime, as I'm saying, it's coming back. So how many of you are all of a sudden, you know, I feel this calling to maybe do public speaking, or maybe I have this calling to start writing or what, like whatever it is, you can always book a reading with me and I can give you your Akashic records. It's so important. It helps you understand why things are happening, why you're connected with certain people in your family, why you're drawn to certain careers, why you feel that soul connection with someone, who they are. I give you all of those details plus much more. Old chapters are closing. Karmic soul contracts are done. Boom, 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 boom. They might come back at another time. However, for now, your soul is like, you know what? We've had enough of this. We've had enough of this. So you are going to see that certain things that you had started from before are coming back to where, you know what? I want to start a new project. I mean, there's certain things and certain projects I'm working on. And I'm like, okay, Jenny, you really got to start learning how to just do this on your own. So I like downloaded, like, I don't know, 50 videos. And I'm like, okay, that's for your future project, Jenny. Let's not get carried away. But in that moment, I heard that, Jenny, you have to do this. You have to start learning about this. Learning new skills is for your benefit. You can always reach out to other people for help to help you with that, to help you learn this and that. Take a class. Maybe some of you want to take a class and learn more and such like that. There's help out there. Maybe you can hire somebody to help you. Maybe you can take a class, whatever it is. Okay. So I'm like, oh, oh, I'm not a technical person by any means, but because I'm working on a another project that's been going on for some time, 
I have to learn how to implement and make certain things going on my own self as well. So this Neptune and Pluto energy, it's going to help you release, release, release this week as well, you guys. Let go of what you're struggling with. Let go. When we are struggling, because you're trying to force things, you're trying to push things to happen. Don't do that, right? What you're trying to force or push will work against you. Work on your projects. Start writing down what you'd like to manifest, what your goals are. Start writing it down. Don't force things to happen because certain things, there's going to be delays. You know, even with Mercury retrograde, we, you know, we have delays and roadblocks and stuff, right? Which can be a pain. However, this energy is all about don't push things. Don't push things. When you surrender, 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 it's just like, you know what, spirit, <laughs> I'm tired of trying to overthink. Overthinking, you're not going to get clarity. Spirit will stop you and create certain delays for you because they're like, you know what, that's not your path. Or we don't want you going into that direction. We don't want you meeting that person. We don't want you doing this or, or whatever it is. You have to trust the process. It can be really, really frustrating. So... You're also going to find that your sleep could be off. We have solar flares. Oh, your body temperature can go up to like feeling really warm or all of a sudden feeling really cold. You can get like headachy. You can feel like kind of like that fluey type vibe and you can feel flat out exhausted. Just all of a sudden like, oh, why am I so exhausted? That's your body saying, slow down, slow down. We have been really fast paced, really fast paced, especially this month and even March. And all of a sudden, boom, your body is like, you know what? We want you to sleep in. We want you just to sit back and do nothing, like nothing. All of these other things that you want to do and get done. I get that. We all have stuff and projects and work and whatever it is we have to work on. Right. We all get that. However, there's that balance. There's that balance. I mean, yesterday I had things to do and I'm like, you know, I don't feel like doing that. I really don't. So I took time out for me. You have to prioritize you. And I'm like, yeah, I just really feel this. So things were flowing when I was working on something. It's one of my passion projects that I enjoy doing. And I'm like, I'm loving this vibe. I'm really feeling really good. I'm feeling the energy like just flowing and moving within. I'm feeling this amazing shift. 555, five, five, you guys. How many of you seen 555 five, five in synchronicity numbers? 555 five, five is bringing life changes to you. When I see 555, five, five, I'm like, spirit, I'm so grateful. Thank you for the positive new beginnings that are best for my highest self and highest purpose. I am open and ready to receive. April 444, 44, 4444. How many of you seen that? Numbers again, sequences. You're going to continue seeing that. Really pay attention and take that pause. Take that pause whenever you see those numbers coming up. So the universe is going to be testing you this week as well with your worth. The, the universe is going to be testing you with Saturn and the sun energy combined. And showing you your worth, showing you more of your talents. You know, it's like, geez, I'd like to do this and that. Keep your ideas quiet. I've been talking about that for a while. Because the minute you start talking about, you know, I'd like to do this and I'd like to do that. Really pay attention to who responds to that meaning. Oh, my God, you're crazy. Oh, my God, you're not going to do that. Oh, my, whatever. That's negativity. That's your own energy. That's your own energy. I actually talked to a friend of mine the other day I hadn't talked to for quite some time. And I, and I had told him something, you know, um, but I, it just came out naturally because I'm very blunt. I got nothing to hide. I keep it real. And he just looks at me like, like I've known you for how long, how many of these years? And you've never talked about that. Like, like that's a huge, like what, like you're too old to do that. And I, and I, and I'm like, as you were saying that, I'm like, Jenny, you knew ahead of time what you were saying and I'm like no I didn't right but it just comes out so that's why I'm saying you're going to be getting tested 
um, from spirit. You're going to be getting triggered and you're going to be showing who your real soul tribes are, who you connect with and who you no longer connect with. So your, your, your soul is going to be giving you more courage to make those endings, to walk away in a different direction. You know, there's going to be a lot of sudden expecting on it, expected happening. That's going to continue on. But don't make any rash decisions either, because we have that Taurus stellium, which will help ground you, but it's also going to show you different things of you know, what you need to work on. And it's going to work with you. It's going to help you. Taurus energy is all about being grounded to earth, being more earthy and earthy and earthy. So, and with this being a huge manifestation week, again, please watch your thoughts. You know, as we're going through a lot of different emotions and letting go, we can, we can, you know, kind of go down a little bit thinking I'm never going to be able to do this, or this is never going to happen or whatever. When you start to feel like that, just try to automatically reset your mind into positive, you know, and, and try not to be hard on yourself. Try not to be hard on yourself. You know, there's different ways we can clear our energy, you know, like definitely, you know, turning your phone off, going for a walk in nature, going swimming, you know, releasing, exercising, doing yoga, chanting, whatever it is, whatever works with you, you have to do. So there's a lot of huge changes this week for the positive. If you work with this energy, you guys. So I am going to pull a couple of cards here as well from spirit to see what messages um, we need to hear from spirit, as I call it. I work in channel with the Christ consciousness and ascended masters, guides, you name it. I 24 seven, I hear messages. So I've been going into a lot of deep trances lately. Um, and I get a lot of messages coming up and a lot of clarity and stuff. So um, some of you, um, you know, if you pay attention, if you're more aligned within your soul, you've been getting more clarity and understanding and putting those pieces in the puzzle together and saying, that's why that didn't happen. Or that's why I didn't do that. Or that's why I didn't have that job or whatever, all of that. So when you tune into your soul and you're aligned, you're going to be understanding all of that even more so. So let's find out what the energy from the spirit world from April 23rd to the 30th. What's the cosmic message from the spirit world? And make sure you clear your, your cards three times, you guys. Knock them three times on wood to clear that energy from when you last utilized them. If not, you just carry the energy over and then you'll have the same cards falling out, right? So what is the cosmic message from spirit from April 23rd to the 30th? The cosmic message from spirit. Cosmic message from spirit. Cosmic message from spirit. Cosmic message. Didn't feel that. Ooh, felt that one. <laughs> wow. Absolutely. So now, you know how I talk about you're going to see your worth more um, and who supports you, who doesn't, who is there for you, mainly yourself. You have to be there for you. You have to be there for you. You can't run to somebody else and expect that other person to do things for you. You can ask for help. You can hire someone, surrender it, surrender it, but take those steps yourself to implement those changes because what you don't, change continues so if you're not happy in a relationship or job or whatever it is end it i've i've ended a few things myself as well this past few couple of weeks or for a little while and i'm like no i'm not doing that anymore so there has to be a balance with give and receive because when others start taking you for granted it's going to continue so sometimes you just have to stop something completely Right. Um, so you'll know by how you feel and, and what feels right for you. So always go by what feels right for you. Okay. So now this card is interesting. You are limitless. You can do anything you choose. How beautiful is that? Now you see how this unicorn is like a horse and a unicorn combined. Horses are about independence and freedom. So when you take your energy, and you start seeing your worth, which you're going to be showing 
you can make anything happen. But I don't I don't know how. Take a class. Take a class. Learn online. Start reading books if you want to learn about something. How else are you going to do it? Nobody's just going to hand it to you and say, there you go. You have to start making those changes yourself in order to see anything. And whenever you start doing that, the horse, the independent in you and the freedom starts turning into that unicorn vibes. Now, unicorns are very magical, very magical. There's a lot of karmic rewards coming to those who have worked really hard. You're going to even see just your results of how hard you have worked on things. You might start seeing some of things that have been manifesting that you've been working on. And people might say, wow, that's an awesome job. Good for you. I'm really happy for you that you've made this happen. I can really see the difference and whatever it is. Acknowledge you. Acknowledge. doesn't matter what anybody else says. Acknowledge yourself. Wow. Good job. Good job. Whatever it is, it could be anything. The smallest things can make a huge difference. It really can. The smallest steps really add up to quantum leaps. We can't just all, if you want to learn how to run a marathon, you're not going to be able to run the marathon in one day without training for it, without taking those steps necessarily, making certain changes and bringing in new things in order to run that marathon. So those little steps that you want to, that you have to take will get you to the end, will get you to the picture. Slow and steady wins the race, right? Some people can just jump in and do it. <laughs> like, wow, that's amazing. And I've, I've known, I've known people who have done that, especially one, I had one client and I'm like, oh, like shockingly what she achieved. And I was, wow, I'm like, wow. That is amazing. I'm so happy for you. I'm so proud of you. That's way to go. So just know that you've got this. You've got this. Be mindful in a positive way. So what's the cosmic message from spirit? Cosmic message from spirit. 23rd to the 30th. The cosmic message from spirit. Cosmic message from spirit. Wow. 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 Okay. I always say wow, right? Okay. So this is the fourth month, April. New beginnings, number one. Five represents changes. This card, 41. Four for changes. Four plus one is five changes. The number four represents April. The number one, new beginnings. Look at the magic. Look at the magic that you guys are creating. Look at the magic that you're manifesting. This is a very magical week. Very, very magical week. Fate encounters. Huge new opportunities coming to you. Maybe you've met your soulmate. Maybe you're getting married. Maybe that, that child that you've always been wanting to have, maybe you're pregnant. Maybe you got that huge promotion. Maybe you've won the lottery. All of those things. Be open. Expect the unexpected fate destiny life purpose is really going to be shown to you this week allow that magic to come in that's best for your highest self and highest good you can manifest anything you want but you got to be very mindful of what it is i manifested something this was a few years ago and i'm like oh my god how did i manifest that and it's like but Jenny, that's what you asked for. And I'm like, oh my God, but I didn't realize that's how you learn. You have to be very specific what you want. It's like with me, where I moved to, there's different places I'm looking at. And I'm like, you know what? I'm leaving this up to spirit to decide for me where I'm going to be the happiest and most at peace and content with me and Bella, my little girl, Bella, my little dog, Bella. And I've surrendered that to spirit. So this energy goes on for six months. So it very well could be during now until the next six months, all of a sudden, boof, I'll hear it and something will open. So surrender it, surrender, surrender, surrender. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I fight with myself all the time. <laughs> so let us ask the spirit world cosmic messages from the, from the 23rd to the 30th. What's the cosmic message from spirit? from the animal kingdom, your animals will be 
affected deeply, you guys. Please take them to the vet if you have any concerns. I'm also an animal communicator, by the way, as well. Your animals get affected by this energy. And the energy that fell out from the animal world is hair. H-A-R-E, hair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. Look at that. And three plus one equals four represents April. Look at all the little hairs. Look at how beautiful that is. The month being Easter, the month being the higher consciousness month of the Christ consciousness, hair, bunny, fertility, shedding the old, bringing in the new. I'm still waiting for spring here in Canada. It's still snowing today. Like seriously, <laughs> don't even get me started on that. But look at that. Look how content she is. Look how content she is. She's sitting there in peace within herself, surrendering all that is to come, tuning into the spirit world, trusting the situation. How beautiful is that? How beautiful is that? We have a, in my building, we have a bunny outside that lives outside named Wallace and one of the one of the tenants in the building I you know she looks after him she built him a little hut feeds him every day goes out looking for him and he's right there it's so cute so one of these days when I'm out with my camera I'm going to take a photo of the two of them when she's not expecting it and then I'm going to give it to her so she's she has a really good heart. So everybody knows Wallace, the little, the little rabbit. He's so cute, black and white. Um, you know, so maybe I'll take a picture like I'm saying of him one day if I'm thinking about it. Usually when I'm on my way out, I'm on my way out. And so, anyways, um, one last card, you guys, from the crystal world. You know, I love my crystals. You know, I love my crystals. I've got one of my beautiful bal mala beads on with the Buddha. We just had Buddha Wisik or Buddha. Full moon is very very long this is one of my favorites from nepal thank you steve very grateful beautiful one of my malas i have many different mala beads many oh so wear what you're feeling um drawn to by the way you guys okay so what's the message from our crystal world this week the 23rd to the 30th and right away light fell out shift your money mindset money mindset let go of the fears and the blockages the blockages if we start to feel oh my gosh how am i going to pay this how am i going to pay that like i'm 100 percent self-employed so i have to start off my mornings in a very positive mindset very positive um you know today is going to be a really really good day positive day i'm open to new opportunities i am blessed i'm grateful all of that very important um, to shift your mindset to prosperity. And if you're always giving, 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 you're going to block prosperity from coming in. So this is why you have to take a look at, you know what? Um, I have to stop doing this and this and that in order to receive because there has to be that balance. So as I said, uh, I've stopped doing something um, myself and um, opening up the doors in other areas for myself to open. So you have to make sure that that balance is there, you guys. And really stay positive during this time frame. Um, and just kind of be a little, um, you know, an awareness. Mercury retrograde too causes electrical issues, technical issues. Your communication can be off as well. But you'll have to watch my other video to get the full scope and how to utilize the energy with the eclipse, which is going to be lingering on and Mercury retrograde and all of that. How are you going to do that? Subscribe to Jenny's channel. Hit that subscribe button right in the corner. And for those of you who want to book a detailed clairvoyant psychic reading with me, soulworkwithjenny.com. If you want to get a lot more clarity. Okay, you guys. Namaste. Have a beautiful cosmic week.
Namaste, everyone. I'm Jenny G. I'm an international known clairvoyant psychic medium, past life Akashic record, animal communicator, relationship coach, meditation teacher, and so on. I am here to tell you there is some exciting news. I'm revamping my YouTube channel. That's right. There's new content coming out weekly. I'm going to talk about the weekly cosmic vibes, what you're experiencing, and why, how to utilize that, and giving you the reasons behind it. We're going to talk about the new moon, the full moon, Mercury retrograde, and I'm going to give you those insights how to manifest and make things happen for you at the right time it's time everyone it's time to wake up this planet let's show some love and compassion let the fear go let the negativity go let's do this together and transcend your soul in quantum leaps i'll be here where are you? Hit that red button at the corner there, subscribe to my channel, and let's make this happen. Let's do this now. Namaste.